in continuation of our other income measures and valuation models uh, we have in the line economic profit valuation measure residual income measure and claim valuation model measure economic profit is basically the excess of revenue over the opportunity cost of capital of a firm for a particular or a given period of time it is a periodic measure of profit and it can alternatively be used in measuring income of an entity it can be used for valuing an asset or it can be used for measuring a managerial performance of an entity for a certain period of time or it can be used to determine managerial compensation for the management of a given firm to determine economic profit we deduct the cost of capital from no pet and by no pet we means net operating profit after tax to determine net operating profit after tax in fact we deduct the tax from the earnings before interest and tax and the resulting figure is the no pet to determine cost of capital we multiply the firm's vac with its the capital a uh, net present value can be determined using economic profit when we discount economic profit over the vac of the project the resulting figure is the net present value on that given project and then we can also say that the net present value is basically the present value of the uh, future cash flows and that is equal to the market value of the firm dear student on the screen you can see the computation of economic profit we have a project life of 5 years in the first column we have the capital we have no pet we have vac and we have economic profit now to determine economic profit we need to deduct the amount of vac from no pet the resulting figure is economic profit now we have economic profit of 5 years with zero in the first year and if we discount these five values or future economic profits over the firm's cost of capital the resulting npv is the amount of 69492 when we add this 69492 the net present value to the opening value of the firm and that was the 150000 initial cost the resulting figure is 219492 and that is the total value of the firm that we have just computed by discounting the firm's economic profit over its cost of capital that is the vac and a unique feature of this model is that the value derived by using this model is similar to the value derived by using the basic capital budgeting model next we have residual income a uh, residual income is based on economic profit but it is more reliant on accounting conventions it is in fact an accounting measure it focuses on return to the equity or return to the stockholders it is used also in measuring income determining managerial performance or determining valuation for the assets or investment of the firm to determine residual income we need to deduct the cost of equity in absolute firm from the net income of the firm for a given period of time there is a difference between residual income and economic profit for residual income we need an accounting with model of income that is the net income for determining accounting profit we need an adjusted variant of accounting income and that is the uh, figure of no pet so in economic profit we use no pet net operating profit after tax or simply basically net profit uh, operating profit but for residual income we use the figure of net income here by re is the uh, 
cost of equity and b t minus 1 is the opening balance of the shareholders capital or shareholders equity to determine firm value using the residual income we need to determine present value of the residual income and then this figure is added to the equity and debt of the firm to determine the overall value of the firm let's take an example to understand the application of net income we have again a five years model in the first column we have net income we have cost of equity the difference of these two is the residual income that is in the line three if we discount these five years residual incomes over the cost of equity that is our discount rate 15 percent now the net present value of these five years residual income comes to 69,492 now we have equity of 40,254 and debt of 109,746 adding the present value of residual income to these two values of equity and debt the full value of the firm comes to 212,492 again this is the value that is similar to the value derived through economic profit and the value derived to the basic capital budgeting model in the last we have claim valuation model uh, we have right now three valuation approaches we have economic profit approach that adds present value of the economic profit to the original investment we have residual income approach that adds present value of the residual income to the equity and debt of the firm then we have a cash value approach in which uh, the future cash flows of the firm are spread between the debt and equity holders of the firm and they are divided them separately so we can say that uh, uh, we have a balance sheet structure through using the cash valuation approach now how claims valuation approach fits into the balance sheet structure we can see that the capital budgeting approach basically values the assets of a firm as a whole whereas the claim valuation approach values the debt and equity component of the firm and these components are appear on right side of a balance sheet whereas assets are appear on the left side of a balance sheet so we can say that value of assets is equal to the value of claims to understand this phenomena we have an example where we have cash flows for the debt holders and cash flows for the stockholders for cash flows to the debt holders we have two types of cash flows interest and principal payments and we need to discount these cash flows at the cost of debt that is 8.33 percent to determine the value of uh, the stockholders cash flows where we have the cash flows in terms of dividends and share repurchase these two cash flows will be discounted at the cost of equity which is 15 percent again we have table of five years project life in the first column we have interest payments and principal payments these two payments are gone to the debt holder so we have total debt payments from year one to year five then we have the cash flows for the distribution among the equity holders from year one to year five when we determine present values of these two cash flows streams on their respective cost of capitals as the discounting factor an interesting thing we see that both of the elements have similar present value and the total of these two present values is 219,492 so we can again see that the claim valuation approach results the same present value of the firm that we had seen in economic profit valuation approach in residual income approach and earlier in the basic capital budgeting approach in little we have few others valuation approach like cash free cash flows to the firm same as the basic capital budgeting approach and free cash flows to the equity holders at which relates to the claim valuation approach now question arises how practitioner do in valuation of a firm having 
the cash flows and various valuation approaches generally corporate managers value assets using their after tax cash flows and security analysts uh, value equity by uh, valuing the cash flows to the equity holders and another we have uh, real estate investors they use claim valuation approach to determine the financial worth of real assets under their consideration